Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Sal Play Star Trek Online. Once again, joined by Drake. We nearly had Sai, but um, he's got to complete some more missions before he can join us. Anyway, as said in the last episode, we will be joined by a legendary figure in this episode. So, let's get into it. Oh yeah, we're joining the Klingon ship for this mission. Which means we don't have the full crew. Kapla, and welcome aboard the IKSA. My name is Ramir, and this is my ship. Your reputation for getting the job done precedes you. Alliance Command gave me the authority to pick who would assist us on this mission. And your name was at the top of the list. Oh wow, that's high praise coming from, from you guys. If you do not know about my team or our missions, then I have been successful. There are many battles fought in shadow. Now, if you don't have any further questions, follow me to the briefing room. I will give you more details about our mission there. No, no. You're going to tell us about your house. For those of you who don't know, Kalos is the ancestor to the Klingon philosophy. Uh, he is the very reason why they have their warrior culture. And uh, you cannot find more wise words than the words of Kalos. You're already on the bridge, sitting in his chair. When the meeting room sat in that chair. Yes. How do you rate the chair? It's an F. Klingons are all function over the comfort. Fair enough. <laughs> ah, and some of these don't That's have fair. some of these don't have backs either, so it's like oh, okay. Let's be fair, it's Klingons. You know they're all did have function over any sort of comfort. Data recovery yeah. the station in the Calbriden system has pinpointed the location of a second base in the Demesia system. Generators. I understand you had a hand in recovering this information. Of course. <laughs> Nevertheless, typical answer if it's classified. Our plan is to sneak in and sabotage the Omega generators. Taking them out will cripple the Iconian's ability to refine the Omega molecules that fuel their gateway networks. Won't that also destroy subspace in that region? Your ship as well. That should be sufficient. Oh, excellent! We're both getting cloaked. Then we fight. Ooh, I suspect we suspect we'll have to fight our way out anyway. After we detonate the Omega generators, I hope your crew is up to the challenge. Oh, my crew's already always ready to fight. Our scientists took the risk of a catastrophic reaction at less than seven percent. That is an acceptable risk. No chance of an Omega detonation, yeah, because it will this destroy subspace. Mission. You, of course, have the authority to change our mission parameters. Omega is right over there. She will 
also be a part of the away team to help extract him. Cool, let's go talk to the technical expert, find out the numbers. So this is going to be another meet and greet probably. Charges are properly placed and calibrated, it should not be a problem. Well, the risk comes from non stabilized Omega particles. They are very unstable. If a chain reaction starts, we will not be able to stop it. If that happens, we'll lose our ship, yours, and anything within a few thousand kilograms at the least. But if that happens, the heralds in the system will be destroyed too. I'm just trading. That's something. Oh, you're just being betrayed, dude. <laughs> If we were to stabilize the particles into one or more omega molecules, the chance of a detonation would be greatly reduced. I will need to run some numbers. I disagree. Taking the time to stabilize the molecules puts the team in danger. You insult my honor. It is my duty to protect this team. I will not sacrifice Belair's, our lives, for needless precautions. So... I suppose she, that did not end in fisticuffs. <laughs> Hello, little Targ. I propose another series as well. We go and look at all the cute little pets they have in their ships. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Avengers ice cream. Sorry, I may have just witnessed a Klingon saying uh, Re Revenge is a dish best served cold. Right, when you're ready, let's get this show on the road. That's a lot of heralds. My favourite part about it is with the engines I have equipped, the cloak model doesn't actually cover the engines. So you're not fully cloaked? <laughs> yeah, so I'm just a pair of engines floating. Alright, I'm just going to grab this gas while we're here. On the surface. In order to expedite the triangulation process, my ship will move away from yours and perform our own scan. When we're on the surface, our scans can only tell its Arcanian like nature. We need to coordinate with Ramea to cut some of its fields. In order to expedite the triangulation process, my ship will Position confirmed. Beginning scans. Sensor interference is preventing us from getting a good reading. Move to 16, 16 kilometers confirmed. Beginning sensor sweep. Belair here. I have coordinates for the facility. But nice. I cannot do a deep scan without revealing our presence. We will be beaming in blind. Okay, uh, that's fine. And blind we go. Let's just hope we don't materialise inside a wall. You taking the dock? Yeah, yeah. Served him. He served us well for now, and he's got a Gatling cannon as well. Yeah. 
<laughs> I might just rename him to the harm assist at this point. Okay, what information has he been withholding? I had orders which would supersede yours. I am not the leader of House Peg. Now that we have secured the landing area, it is safe for him to join us. And does anyone want to take a guess as to who the leader of House Peg is? Kalis himself. <laughs> if you haven't watched season 6 of TNG, specifically episode 23, go and do that before you watch the rest of this episode. The Flaw, you and your team have done well so far. Now, let us vanquish our foes. I am more than a figurehead. A man cannot lead an empire of warriors without being a warrior himself. I carry the Sword of Kalos, a weapon of fables, forged by Kalos the Unforgettable in the fires of the Kristok Volcano and cooled in the icy waters of the Lake of Lucifer. This blade slew Molor, then conquered the Fakiri, and created a mighty empire. Now I will wield it against the infernal servants of the demons of air and darkness. There is always a need for the Sword of Kalos. It is a symbol of eternal victory. No one who uses it can be defeated. Right. If you've now gone and watched the episode, you will now know that this is actually a clone of Kalos, who was created um, to be a figurehead for the Empire to help unify the Empire. But yeah. It's good to have him aboard. Or along. Alright. Uh, which way? Let's go this Ditches. way. Alright, let's go this way. We'll soon know if we're wrong, because we'll end up dead. Uh, I've been told. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that to begin with, to be fair. And yes, he is currently the Emperor of the Klingon Empire. But it is just basically um, a figurehead position at this point. Although, from Rast records, he actually left the Empire on a ship and he hasn't been seen since. Now you know why. Right. This way. It's alright, I was reading the terminal. Sensors are picking up a different Omega generator. My team will handle this one. Hmm. Two Omega generators, eh? Enjoy exocalms.
localizing the generator. Download the date from the terminal. Ah, uh, Iconia. Stabilized and planting its place. Our charges are set. We will meet with you in the hallway ahead. I think the uh, tricorder would be pointing back out the generator. Oh, hello. That's an interesting device. Might have to grab one myself in future. Uh, I'll have to have a look under the Iconian uh, resistance tab though, won't I? Ooh, that's the turret that you used to be able to get as well. Unfortunately, you can't get that at the moment for some reason. It's a shame. Uh, my original will count. I have that on my main character, but I don't have turret Jesus. We got some information from the Iconian network. How did you do? Fortunately, I come prepared. My tricorder is loaded with the best decryption subroutines available in the Empire. Hmm, this is interesting. There are battle plans here for the Delta Quadrant. The Iconians were advising the Vardwar for months before the conflict started there. In fact, the Iconians insisted that the Vardwar start their attack in the Krenim Imperium, although they didn't say why. I also see data on where the Omega Energy is being distributed. This is good. If we use this, we can attack so the Iconians... Oh, no. What? The they didn't like the Krenums. Well, I can understand... Hmm. One of the Iconians. She... It... Is here. Yes, sir. We need to find the last generator. Ah, uh, let me guess. She's going to be guarding it. <laughs> Well, we might be able to take an Iconian out then if we're careful. Which would explain the uh, the the Herald about no, the aspect of him. Yeah, guarding it. Zoom in on that. It's to cat. Okay, that's what you eat with plans. My blood sings for this battle. It will be glorious. The strongest of Klingons. You wield the sword of Kalos. But there is no one who faced an Iconian in single combat. The war does not go well for us. You all know what we face. Our people need a symbol to inspire them. That is what I was created to be. This battle will be one of legend. Every soldier of the Empire will have this tale on their lips. This is not my day to die. It is my day to kill an Iconia. Hmm. Who am I to argue with the Emperor? Firing a disruptor at an Iconian is like attacking a star. 
crush it with a stick. The sword of Kaelas is a remarkable weapon. Might be the only thing that could work with it. We part ways here. Complete your mission. I will descend to the lower level and challenge the Iconium. Good luck. We create a legend this day. Anyone can kill an Iconian. This is Kalis. <laughs> One of the best things about the Klingons is they're singing their battle songs. Although, you know, for espionage purposes, it wouldn't do much. <laughs> Shut! I have come for you! Face me, creature! I challenge you to honorable combat! Come forth! I am Kalos, the unforgettable! Destroyer of Molor! Defender of Kamchi! An emperor of the Klingons! In my hand is the sword of Kalos, first of its kind. Will you not face me, Tiket? What could a being such as yourself have to fear from one man? <laughs> I thought I was just going to completely ignore you the entire time. I mean, ignoring Kalis would have been like the biggest insult. It's like, you're not worth my time. Not only that as well, it would have been the stupidest thing to do because Kalis would be like, oh, I'm going for the head. <laughs> and well, they were watching. He's doing well, be though. Is honourable from his point of view? Well, no. That's a whole thing, isn't it? It's like... But it. Mm. Yeah. But he is the leader of House Peg. And there is honour in decapitating the head of your enemy, apparently. Even, yeah. Even if it's less honest. You mean laser bolts? Gather energy like sponges in water. That's why a small amount of Omega can generate such a vast amount of power. Mm hmm. Wait, yes. Find a console and activate the reactor. If we hit the Iconian with Omega, we might be able to injure it. Hmm. That might be interesting. Omega based weaponry. Go for the head, go for the head, go for the head. You are no god, Jet. And your tyranny ends now. Why don't you go for the head? Go for the head. Oh damn! They just devout. Ugh.
No, let's see if like, if Taket can escape the uh, the um, Omega explosion. <laughs> we lost <sighs> we were unable to stop the production of Omega molecules. That Cody war will continue, and much blood will be shed. Lock and load. Although considering there is an Arconian actually here, this is quite a light fleet. I'm just going to deploy another wing of attack wings. It's an ambush. They say that, but who's really going to uh, ambush who here? This will be to Ket's flagship, won't it? It's come to give to Ket a hand, hasn't it? Looks a bit small. <laughs> <laughs> come to give them a hand. Something they could really arm themselves with. Yeah, I'm not apologising for that one. That's good either. <laughs> I will mourn for Cadus, but celebrate his life. He was a clone, but he found honour in this life. Now I trust he will find Stovacor to his liking. But before he failed, he showed us the Iconians are mortal. His sacrifice will lead our way to victory. Kapla. Hail Kalis, Emperor and Conqueror. Hail Kalis. Ooh, we get some nice, ooh, point blank shot. I'm probably going to go for the best defence, to be fair. Because I now get a, a whole healing buff. When I use my attack patterns. But anyway, guys, on that note, thank you very much for watching. And uh, we'll catch you next time when it looks like we're going to be doing some time shenanigans. That could only end well. <laughs> <laughs>